Before we start the meeting tonight, we're going to do something we haven't done. We're going to continue it. Would everybody please rise? We'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll call the lead order. Roll call. Mayor Weska? Yes. Moulton? Yes. Mulder? Yes. Reese? Here. Tom? Yes. First item of business, we need a motion to appoint a new city council to replace Jerry Huss and use his expired term. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion we appoint Whitey Steinkamp. And I'll second it. Motion to appoint Whitey, is there a roll call? I think it's Ken. Ken. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Always people don't know me by that. <laughs> Can I uh, make that motion to say Ken Steinkamp? Ken Steinkamp. <laughs> we'll call. Okay, Waltman. Yes. Moeller. Yes. Reese. Yes. Tom. Yes. Why do you, would you step up and get sworn in? Corrections? No. Motion to approve? So moved. Second? I'll second it. Roll call. Okay. Yes. Please? Yes. Tom? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, the first one is Resolution 1801, appointing city officers. <coughs> Nothing has changed. Make the motion to approve. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Holder. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Holton. Yes. Reese. Yes. Tom. Yes. Resolution 1802 is appointing city attorney. Uh, here's all the rates have went down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bargain. <laughs> yeah, bargain. <laughs> I bargain at any cost. Take, just FYI, I put that in the memo about you should do a lot of city attorney. That you should. It's up. And we've been doing a lot more, a lot more things though, also. And uh, we did, we also got Dave's bill now for the fourth quarter. And I didn't add those hours in, but I could, I could do that. But it uh, continues to uh, show high, high utilization, but we, like I say, we've got several things going on. And uh, we have nothing but good things to say about Dave and his work. So, a fabulous job. Yep. Sure. I'll make a motion to <coughs> approve resolution resolution Second. I'll second. Roll call. Holt. Yes. Reese. Yes. Tom. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Mark. Yes. Okay, resolution 1803 is approving the fire chief. I have uh, actually I've asked Scott to put in there that we give Jim a raise uh, to match what the other towns are doing. If any of the firemen would like to interject anything. 
Cooley, you're the assistant chief. Yes. Uh, I've had I've had six months of firemen coming up and saying we're not paying Jimmy enough. That's true. He's got <laughs> a lot of paperwork and shit to do that uh, uh, he uh, uh, has has uh, it's a lot of paperwork about the new uh, uh, paging system and the new. Uh, He took a FEMA class. Um, yeah, FEMA and, and all this uh, uh, technical stuff with the, with the uh, pagers and the cell phones. We get we also uh, uh, do stuff with the cell phone. I don't know. But, I am responding. To yeah. yeah. And this was a couple of members <laughs> got together and discussed this. We talked to some of the other chiefs and other neighboring towns and. Jim's not paid theirs what they are. And we're we're not asking for what they get paid because they get paid a lot more. All we're asking is he gets paid hundred dollars a month. Well the motion was to pay twelve hundred dollars a year from now on. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes after a lot of grants that we normally didn't go after him. Right, right. I'll make the motion He puts puts a lot of time in just keeping track of uh, uh, lawsuit things that come in. We've had a couple of those that he has to uh, put re uh, different reports in on uh, lawyers that want to know something. I will tell you, Jim did not ask for this. No, no he did not ask no, for this. Not ask for <laughs> we have a motion to approve 1803. Is there a second? A second. Roll call. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Yes. Boltman? Yes. Please? Yes. If you guys would like to let him know that, we've done that. Um, okay. Thanks for your efforts. Well, thank you guys. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for everything. Okay, resolution 1804 is approving all the members of the Lakeview Volunteer Fire Department. We have that motion. So we'll second. Second. Roll call. Oh, yes. Reese? Yes. Tom? Yes. Thank you. Yes. No. Yes. Motion is approved. Resolution is approved. You guys are all still firemen. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you didn't get a pay raise, though. Yeah, you didn't, get a pay raise. We didn't need one. No. Okay, resolution 1805 is our official depositories. Yeah, just know that this is the same resolution we got passed two months ago. Mm -hmm. But we, we do this every time we see the new council. Motion to approve. Second? I'll second it. Roll call. Mueller. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Walton. Yes. Reese. Yes. Found. Yes. The resolution is approved. Resolution 1806, listing the salaries of elected and appointed officers in the city of Lake Mead. We didn't get a raise either. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, some did. Yeah, Just, I guess, just as point of comparison, I put in total payroll in the memo for the past couple of years. Too. You can see that uh, this year's at 743,000 minutes. Consistent with the, uh, the past couple of years. We have a motion on 1806. Will, uh, like when the union will change this probably or not? Wages, you know, the wages would change then. We would bargain for change, uh, union, uh, wages that went into effect then as of the 1st of July. Oh, I see. Okay. Wages are already set for now. I'll make a motion. Or somebody did or anything. Okay. Second. This is just recapping what the wages were last calendar year, and then this is the notice that gets published. Okay. We have a second on 1806. I'll second it. Roll call. Yes. Mullen. Yes. Bolton. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Found. Yes. Okay. 1806 is approved. Okay, ordinance 488. This is our <coughs> second, it's the second, second meeting, meeting of that uh, that ordinance that uh, establishes front yard setback requirements in the commercial district, and then also requires that residential uses in the commercial district you know, meet minimum housing standards. We have that motion. I make that motion. Second. Second. Roll call. Thank you. Yes. Bolton? Yes. Bolton? Yes. Reese? Yes. Tom? Yes. Can I make a motion to waive the three? A second? I'll second it. Roll call. 
Paul? Yes. Laura? Yes. Reese? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, second and third and three have been approved. Ordinance 489, this is our open spaces change to the ordinance. Yes. That's our second reading. We need a second reading. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. I'll second it. Roll call. Thank you. Yes. Reese? Yes. Paul? Yes. Paul? Yes. Tom? Yes. I'm not too sorry about that. <laughs> You mean by Since I'm a newbie, yeah. I don't understand the driveways. Don't understand anything. Do we want to waive the third reading of 489? We'll take that motion if someone would like to do that. So we second. Second. Roll call. Roll call. Yes. Reese. Yes. Tom. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Moore. Yes. Okay, second and third readings have been approved. Okay, ordinance 490. The good news on the sewer lakes, there is not. Yeah, there, not much. You know, we had told everybody from uh, the start of our project, we looked at, at five years of, of raising rates, 12.5% every year. And that memo from our financial advisor starts on page 16. And we went over that two or three months ago also, where it was stating that revenues weren't coming in as high as what we had anticipated um, so that this would likely require then a sixth year of rate increase also. But uh, so I put that memo in there again just for your um, just for your consultation. But really take a look at page 21. This is what means things to the people as what does it do to my tour charges. This proposes again a 12 and a half percent uh, rate increase, and and the uh, uh, totals then for this year. Let's see what the totals are. Base fee would be 17.25. Consumption fee at 20 dollars and 70 cents. Total 37.95. <coughs> and uh, just comparing that to even the five years ago, it started out at 24.64. So the uh, it's gone up that $13 plus over that time, and we'll continue to go up for the next year. Any comments? So do you do this every year, then? <coughs> That's how you, every year? We, the, we have, year? Through, the, through the fifth year, with this being the fifth year. And uh, that we have, again, in, in preparation of paying off the debt service on that, on the lagoon. So now that you need a sixth year because we don't have enough population, well, that's, I mean, and obviously that's part of it. That's part part of it. Just the revenues didn't come in like right. they did. The other thing that that when these previous rates from the years were, the actual rate was established by our by our uh, uh, city engineer, and he said we're going to have twelve and a half percent raise every year. Well, what that was was twelve and a half percent in the in year one, and then it was a consistent rate step. Okay. So that by the time you add it on to that 12.5% in the first year, the second year only becomes 12%. And the third year of what they call the 12.5% rate increase was actually only 11%. Um, so it was, it was a constant rate step instead of a constant percent. Does that make sense? Somewhat. So I know that you expect that the normal expectation is for utilities to be supported by utility rates. Yes. But since now we have to have another year of increases that weren't planned, the public wasn't counting on that. And I think you're really going to hear complaints in year four, five, and six because every year is going to be more. Sure. So is it going to be another 12.9 or it's not going to be that because of the step? We're, now we're figuring at 12.38% next year. And we haven't taken bids yet either. No, and of course that is all that's up in the air about that. So is there not any, uh, you know, is there not a way to put some money into this to say at least to the community, you know, we understand and we're trying to a little offset a little bit to the charge to the community? The community also has to understand that when, when projects are voted down, 
that would have increased the population, would have increased the taxation, would have increased the revenue. When those projects are voted down, it impacts the rest of us. It impacts everybody. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the community, I'm just saying, I think it needs to be on the record because, because it might have been different, is what I'm saying. Okay, sure. You have the same infrastructure no matter, I mean, basically. You know, if you if you add another 500 people, you know, that would I mean, you still have, have your for it. Yeah. And it would have made a difference. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Nathan, you have a question. Does, first, does the campground do they have any excess money other than paying their employees for the year? Does the does the campground make any money? Not too, not too much. Usually, the campground makes enough to pay for all the employees <clears throat> that work there. There's not enough. Our our goal of the campground is that they raise enough money to pay pay for all parks operations. I'm just curious. You know, the campground don't pay for water or sewer or electricity out of their budget if some of that was left over could go into the sewer budget. Left over is not a word we use very often. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> not, I mean, we, we, pay, we pay ourselves for that for the use of water and sewer down there but it comes out of the water and sewer accounts, not the campgrounds. So. Although it's certainly it's certainly I just think maybe in the next year or so it'd be something to think about. We could, I know it's you know, not the norm. Okay. Sure. And, and Tammy, we were talking about this before, too, about other revenue streams to pay for the debt service. Um, you know, what do you do other than look towards property taxes? It's yeah. pretty difficult then to, you know, but we that, too. Looked, sorry. We have looked at other towns, and they're worth considerably quite a bit less than others. When we started, we were, right, yeah. you know, and when we're when we're done with all of these rate increases, we'll be, we'll be on the high end, yeah. of it for sure. It's it's just hard for you know. Nobody wants to be with that. Yeah, thing. to see this keep going up, and now we're adding another year, and depending on what the bids come in, we could be adding another year, and or subtract. Well, that, that's a feasibility. I know. And we can only hope. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. we are supposed to get something on the bids by the 10th of January. The DMR guy told me. On the uh, environmental impact document that we've been waiting. But he did mention that even though for one of the cities that we could take bids and we have 60 days to get the remainder of the paperwork in, is that we could actually take the bids as long as that. Just <coughs> that, and, and Bob Beecher said that we, we could go ahead and proceed through bid letting. We're prepared to do that now. But just that you got this environmental thing still hanging out there as, as unresolved, you know, very likely there are no environmental impacts. But it's just hanging out there as unresolved, and, and it could potentially affect timeline more than anything else for when the contractor gets started. So when... When the contractor is bidding with any type of uncertainty, the price will go up. You know, that's the argument. So if we just get the environmental documentation taken care of beforehand, the contractor will bid with certainty about what, when, when they can begin their construction, and they could uh, bid with more certainty, and hopefully a sharper pencil that way. The quicker we take the bid, the better we got a better price. Is what we always that's what we found out. Yeah. So we don't know what the holdup is on this. Well, the staff is finishing it up. But yeah. That's about. Well, the guy I talked to the other day said he sent a report to you. But we never got it. And he was going to resend it. We still haven't got it. <laughs> and he said that uh, we'd have something by the tenth of January. That's okay. The guy's never going to call him back. He never resent it. Hmm. He thought we'd have everything. He's the guy I talked to in that community that day too. Yeah. But if we do ordinance 491 one time, then it goes in the paper that we have other readings, Vicky, so the public would have a chance to for some input. Mm -hmm. See how much input there is. Yeah, that's, that's why we read it three times if it's something, especially if there's a question. That being the case, we can use a motion on 490 started anyway. I'll make the motion. Second? I'm second. Roll call. Thank you. Yes. Reese? Yes. Muller? 
Yes. Fulton. Yep. Tom. Yes. Okay, Miss 490, the first reading is passed. Bill, you want to come up and talk about the bid lighting for our underground? Hopefully what happened is <laughs> I don't, let's go. We have one new call, some other doesn't. We bid this last year. And the, the company, Delphi, that's another thing you can talk about that. It's basically rebuilding the exact same project as we had last year. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, John. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. It's basically every every year we try to bury so much rebury underground to keep ahead of the underground falls and the, one of the big projects is the area by Dave's area where the underground series lighting is all going bad rebuilding all that that's that's the bulk of the yellow out by TCP trucking getting that residential area buried our goal is to have the entire town buried that's the the last area right out there to get buried. Okay. That's in section nine, Stuart Bowl nineteen is TCT trucking and the businesses along the highway there. But that was our goal to get the whole town there. And the other little areas around twenty. So Seventh Street then is is buried, but it's getting bad. Is that what you said? Seventh Street. Where Walton was. That's a series lighting. Okay. And it's we've had multiple outages up there. Okay. I think if you move that one pole, <laughs> you would solve the problem. Good try. You're still working, aren't you? <laughs> no, the, the lights are in a series of the ones right across from the campground, right? The right. Years ago, that's and there's right. two poles, we, well, we've already had them set. They were hit by a, one was hit by a car, and the other one was hit by a snow plow, and those are getting replaced. They're already sitting there. And we kind of promised the customers that it would have been done, but it ain't done, so. It's just. A lot of our wires, then we've got a long time, it's just trying to stay ahead of the problems. So I guess just a couple of points on this is, you remember that when we bid this last year, <clears throat> we got what we thought was a, was a nice bid price, and we added some distance to the project because, because the original bid came in under, under what our budgeted amount was. So we added some to it. This would propose to keep that additional stuff in there. Okay, so where we we had budgeted normally around eighty thousand dollars a year, and this ends up being um, estimated about ninety six. Now that would be for this current fiscal year then, but we'd also have some money budgeted for next year, so we would would still be fine on that. Um, so that's the first issue, but the second issue deals with Van Manen and their uh, any resolution to that issue, because uh, I think we're. Hopefully we're getting close to a resolution. Um, I'm going to talk about that now. We're going to talk about it later, Dan. Later. <clears throat> but can can we go ahead and proceed on a bid letting the project again? Yes. So you need motion to authorize the bid letting. Authorize the bid letting. So we'll second. Roll call. Bolton. Yes. Bolton. Yes. Peace. Tom, thank you. Yes. And the council can reject all bids too. I mean, that's yeah. the last mm -hmm. sentence in your in your bid. Well, let's take a look. Oh, wait, before you, I'm going to while Bill's sitting here, I think so. If everybody wants, you want to. These are some things that Scott and Bill have come up about parking on the streets. <laughs> you throw my name out there? <laughs> well, Scott, don't want to, but Bill and Royce want to. Anyway, we're going to bring this up in the next council meeting. It's a some way to uh, have a three step process, Royce, that, that we would keep track of the tickets, and the third one we would uh, have a bucks in the tow. But we'll have to bring this to the council as an ordinance change. But if anybody has any input, now would be the time. Just, I guess, know that for our parking tickets, or especially our snow tickets, um, you know, when they, we, our ordinance says when snow is predicted, falling, or during snow removal operations, cars can't be on the road. So, 
um, we ticket people, we just give them tickets for, for parking on the road. And it's a $20 ticket. And, and, um, and then there'll be several people during the course of the winter get several tickets. Um, so, anyway, the chief and the mayor are going to pitch this idea about having a graduated uh, scale about, about uh, fines. So what are you going to do, put it in the paper a couple weeks? So. Is, is that during certain hours of the day or night? Or For? All the time. If it's snowing like in the daytime, I mean, they need to get their vehicles off. It snows off. enough that you're going to plow the police give them tickets. That's there, okay. there isn't any time limits in our ordinance. You know, the practical side of things is if it snows during the day, people are still parked on the street downtown. Right. Yeah. You know, it, and, and that's, and that's, something and that's that okay. Can't but can't yeah. fix that. Right. So how do you decide, though, who gets the ticket? I mean, does, this, does the streets department notify the... No, uh, the you just drive can. around them? Right, if it's on the street. Got it. This is pretty obvious when we're going to plow, yeah. and then we get them tickets. You just want to make sure that you're well, consistent, I guess, yeah. is what I'm right. saying. Well, some people come in and say, it's 20 bucks, and I don't have to move the car. But 20 bucks, 20 bucks. But uh, we got to get them off the street. We're going to hit somebody with a plow one of these days, and we're going to buy mm -hmm. a car. Right. But at least if we have it in writing them, cover somehow that we can lose tow you after the third time. And just in talking to Bill, it's the same people, just like everything else, over and over again that just don't do it. So we need something to get their attention. It's next to impossible for these guys to get through some places with them and for twenty bucks they don't care. So and I know Sac City had a graduated thing and that's actually where one of those came from is their ordinance that uh, Maybe the first time it moves, but then we need to get your attention. But the first time you, you give a warning, or no, we just yeah. a twenty dollar warning. But we'll come up with something. Anyway, the next council meeting we'll have some. We can pick and choose what we want. We should do something. So. Yeah, well, thank you for your consideration. Thanks, Doris. Thank you. Bill, the snow removal was a good job. Thanks. Yeah. I meant to tell you guys when you were all sitting there today, but I forgot. We can pass that on. We get good compliments. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you want to do your capital projects? Yeah, let's just. So at the last council meeting, we had all the department heads come pre present their departmental needs assessment. Out of that, then, we would prepare our uh, capital improvement plan. And just to win, uh, we, as we prepare this plan, if it's in year one, it would be proposed to be included in our next budget. Okay, so then in subsequent years, we do we want to plan accordingly. So we have a five-year, five-year plan. But a lot of a lot of the year two, three, four, five are are much less defined about what happens during that time. But uh, we do want to continue, especially if we're saving money. We want to make sure that that we uh, put that in the plan so that we we continue to uh, set that money aside every year. But I want to focus a lot more on year one tonight. And again, the, just the notion that if it's listed here, if it makes the cut and stays in the capital improvements plan, it would be included in the budget plan. Okay? So just going down the list on technology upgrade, we, we've done that uh, annually. And uh, that's used by several Shit, different departments for $5,000. Uh, financial audit next year, we, we got to do this. Um, annual exam every year, but uh, this would be four years then since we had a full audit. Plus, if we expend enough money with this sewer project, we will have to do a full audit. So, um, I would expect that we're going to have to do that and it would be about time for that anyway. That's about double the price of this uh, annual exam. Update the Lakeview website. Uh, it's proposed that we would use $5,000 to do that. You see it come from hotel motel taxes. So, more... Uh, uh, marketing, community marketing. Housing study. I know there's there's interest in doing something with other communities or countywide on a housing study. So I want to, would like to uh, uh, have some funds available that we could participate in that in some regards. How does a countywide one work? Same, you know, about the same way as 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 us doing our own. Each we just put together a, a a composite plan for the county, but each community would have their own section of the plan. Walk up drop box. 
Um, that's just to, uh, a proposal to have it on a on a post, probably out front, be the southeast corner of the uh, of the city hall property. So that maybe so folks just got to get out of the cars all, and they'd be able to put it in a in a drop box that Kay would actually walk by then every day when she goes to get the mail. So, so it's not going to be a drive up. So they have to get out. So is have you had a real request for this? A real need? It it is a just another amenity, I suppose you'd say, more, maybe more than anything else. Or you, or you already get out now. If it was People, a yeah, they got to get out of their car. Yeah. Right I now. can't but, see it, uh, personally. I, yeah. You know, the box is there. The only thing I can see wrong with the box up there is I, my hand couldn't fit in there, but there's people's hands that could fit right in that box. It's, it's pretty close. We, it's about as small as what we've been yeah. able to. I know, but I don't need it. smaller. But maybe you could drop the. Drop the, the box down a little lower uh -huh. so that so they, they can't get in there. Yeah, that'd be my only. I notice that when I drop it in, that it's about, sometimes it's level. The yeah, if, it, if it's full, it's about level. Yeah. So I think the only people that complain are those that struggle walking and then it's slick out, they don't want to walk up to the sun. That's the only people I've ever complained. But they can walk in the grass. But, you know, well, I think a drive up one would be fantastic, but yeah. I don't know where you're going to put it. We just couldn't figure out where to put it over here. It's all about going through here, but that would just be a shortcut for the kids to come through. I would just as uh, soon have a, a sidewalk out here instead of that. Yeah. Personally. And so we'd have to walk across the wet grass and whatever. Or walk out on the street when we're done here. The grass from this door over to this up to the sidewalk over there. I understand. I've been after that for four years already and ain't getting anything done. I don't know if Bill could do that for eight hundred bucks or not. The sidewalk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's a one-way street or something around right here, similar to the post office. It to make a to make a drive up one work. Up, it, otherwise, it'd be driving on the wrong side of the road anyway. Yeah. You know, it would really be would put like a, tra yeah, a yeah, diagonal no traffic lane through this corner. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's that's a huge undertaking that you know, I, I would suggest we'd do that. You almost know. don't want to take away the parking. I just think you leave it alone. Other than lowering it, like you say, so I think it doesn't get yeah, so filled American in there. Yeah, the new. <laughs> <laughs> he made the last one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a cardboard box to me. It has been cardboard, and no, now it's no, wood. No, it's wood. Oh, it is wood. Yeah. No. yeah. Well, I just thought if it was lower, they could. That looks kind of dangerous to me. You know, people put that in. You know. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe we don't have no dishonesty going on. I, you know, I don't know. Because, like I say, it can happen. And I would tell you something happened today that has not happened ever, maybe, to, to my recollection. Somebody put cash in there. And, of course, it says, do not put cash. <laughs> do not deposit cash. Yeah. Forty bucks. Put forty dollars in with a note on the envelope that says, put on my bill. <laughs> Did they sign it? No name. No name? <laughs> oh, that was mine. <laughs> I see. Uh, I see. Quick. Wow. Yeah. I told the wife to put the name on it. Yeah. 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 I suppose they'll ever think of that. <laughs> um, crescent shaped council table. I guess I'm interested in, in any discussion on that. I like it. I, I, I like it too. I, I, guess. I don't know how much it costs. But I like Say, it. That, that price is not a real price. That's just. Is a, it $800? <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I put in $5,000. I think uh, well, when I do some research, I think I'm going to be way low. The only thing is, if you're going to make, then why are you gaining by putting the table that way? If it's crescent shaped. So that everyone yeah. would be facing you can see office. everybody and everybody can see right. you. Oh, you yeah. can have it long enough. Look, yeah. look over it's, here over here. Yeah. That's what it yeah. would be. Like Sac City. Like Sac City. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever come to a council meeting as a private citizen. Oh, yeah. But when you sit over there, don't you feel a little segregated? I, I mean, I always yeah. did. It's hard to listen to the conversation. It's hard to, especially when the room got crowded. So what about other meetings with committed? How many places you can have enough for every community? Or say community club. Um, yeah, and if, when, 
I think when that happens, the, the library, the library. Time, they'll go over to the library when that new car is yeah. off. No. And the, and the library they can't hear for that furnace and air conditioning. I see. But if, once that gets done, I think a lot of them will move over there. Because it, well, it is difficult to get a yeah, one-sided table. Yeah. You know, just put the camera where it is back there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something that we could talk about the goal setting and stuff. Right. And, you know, I don't maybe, think it's a Maybe get some real hard like numbers class. and you know, do something with this yeah, paper. Like right there. There. Yeah, just cut it right in half. And, there you go. You could. Yeah. 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 Come back on it. Yeah. But it is hard to hear, like when that furnace is running. Right. You can't hear anything that you're over there. So. Oh, no. And the library, when they have their meetings, they're excited about having a place that they could actually go in here. The community club would go there, probably, mm -hmm. at Hometown mm -hmm. Pride. Because <clears throat> whether it's winter or summer, you can't hear it. You know? Yeah. And half of the people have got their back to it, so they can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't see nothing wrong with it. I, I uh, think uh, we, you know, if we could even look at this as an option to cut it in half. Yeah, put it this way. You know, not to spend a whole bunch of because this is very spending just as much as you would for a new table. Oh boy, I put this table. You see the numbers for an actual table. Well, it could be that this table would be used over there at the other one. That's what I thought. Yeah. Maybe they would utilize this one over there. That'd be a JLB one. Carrying this. Yeah. How would you get it out the door? Bill. Bill. We carried it from upstairs city council down here. And you made the turn. Thirty years ago, yeah. You took the legs off. Yeah. Prisoners made that. Yeah, well, that's where it came from. Sure. Got our money from that. Yeah. It's, it's, that's well, why I like a man with experience how to move stuff. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Bill. Let's step up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it worked good for my table saw. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Chainsaw, baby. <laughs> um, as we keep uh, going down the list, this underground replacement in electric will can. We want to continue to make this an annual investment that we're always budgeting some amount of money for. And before we had said, well, let's do underground one year, rural the next. Under, If we do this big rural project next year, hopefully we're good to go for a little while. We would focus a lot more on underground. But we want to continue to set that that money, get that money in the budget every year to, uh, to do a little project. The rural electric line project, you see there's $800,000 there which would be proposed to be financed with, with revenue <coughs> debt. Uh, electric capital fund, again, that's just, this will be money that we continue to set aside every year, so we have money on hand for e equipment purchases. Uh, bumper truck in the fire department, 290000 was their, their estimate was, I think, 287-ish. Um, to where that would be financed again by general obligation debt and by fire uh, capital funds, some money that's already set aside. Now, <clears throat> with that, uh, I talked with Jimmy about, Chief Garls, about when we would look to proceed to get into the purchase. And they, Jimmy would anticipate he'd be at the next city council meeting to discuss this, that they, uh, they're getting a couple things refined on, on their proposal but they would uh, would come to the council seeking permission to, to proceed, really. How long was that? I, I forget. What did they say? How long was that? Well, it was almost a year. Um, no, to get it. But uh, how long was that? Was um, Greta going to accept that bid or hold that bid? As, I don't it wasn't know. just a few, certain couple months or something? I don't think it was. No, I, I doubt it is. I mean, they're not going to start building the truck for a year. Mm -hmm. It'll be a year before they even start building it. Oh, I thought it was a year before they get it. No, we're going to buy no. the chassis first. Yeah. Right. And it's up to but I thought, a year before they even start building on it. But I thought he said that there was a limit as to how long that bid was good for. I mean, that they had to agree to it. Or well, it. I guess I don't know. Okay. I think you're right. There is something, but I don't I know. I think there is. But By the time it makes it to the year, we'll prove it. Must be an okay or he would be okay. Most of them trucks are not sitting in there. There for a year before they ever get them out of the yeah, belt, and yeah, it takes a long time. Oh, yeah, it's quite a, it's a process. The other yeah. thing that I want to talk about in regards to purchasing that truck is how we would finance it. And <clears throat> you know, 
historically what we would do is it just borrow money from the banks um, and we've always had the same kind of amount of debt service that comes out of the fire department budget itself and and we'd pay that back um, as we get into some budget stuff and we'll talk about this balance that we have in our general fund and I'd just at least throw that out and we can discuss this morning about would you just rather basically have an internal loan again and borrow some money out of a general fund instead general, of paying interest general fees. General fund's getting pretty big. Has a substantial balance. Does so, this 290 include the 70 that, that was put back for the truck? Yeah, yeah. That's This is the cost, the cost of it. And okay. there is about 70 that's, that's uh, set aside already. Set aside already, yeah. Uh, two air packs. I want to try to do a couple air packs every year, about seven thousand dollars each. Um, we do budget some equipment replacement costs, and then they'd also uh, fund some of those with donations. Parks department continue to set money aside in the general capital fund. We've done forty-seven hundred bucks out of that for several years. Uh, work on the. Camp Crescent uh, camping space project and then the drainage and green infrastructure projects. We would need to discuss um, how you would finance those. The camping space project here is proposed to be financed by the general fund or by TIF uh, or a combination thereof and then the green infrastructure would be spon uh, the sponsored projects. Same thing then with the fish station, the fish barrier and dewatering. That would be that SRF sponsored project. Would propose to continue to do annual trade in on those two Toro lawnmowers. That's worked out pretty well for us. Now it's getting to be about $1,000 per year on trade in. But uh, again, that have good, re reliable mowers mm -hmm. without ever much maintenance and basically no maintenance cost other than uh, filters and that type of stuff. Uh, picnic tables, we'd look to do about 16 new picnic tables. 16 would be actually the uh, number of new sites which would be created. Would continue to budget for the, uh, that aquatic herbicide, about $19,000, uh, funded by some combination of DNR grant, county, LPA, and then the city's general fund. We went and talked to the county about uh, their financial commitment to the, the herbicide and the harvester and they uh, made the same kind of contribution then that the LPA did, which would be a third of the total project cost up to $7,500, okay? Because um, if we are successful in getting this DNR grant again, which we hope we would be, it'll, their share would actually be quite a bit less than, than $7,500. They wanted to give the smaller amount if they could. That no, they do, they still don't want to spray more. They, they're not going to spray 150 feet out. Or, yeah, just right? like we did the last two years. I know, but they don't want to do more because of the fish, right? Yeah, Ben doesn't want to do any more. That's the limiting factor. Well, it seems like, a, to me, it seems like almost a cheaper way to go, you know, is that spraying it. But, then, but if he don't, I know he knows more about that, yeah. killing the fish. Than, than we but, but there were some complaints from the East End this past year. It didn't it, work it quite as good. Yeah, it didn't, it work didn't get in the second right. time as it did the first time. Right. They thought maybe they didn't come up close enough. Or some right. some, if you get, like Don Durner said it worked like a million bucks, but up by us it didn't work as good, I guess. Yeah. And, but the DNR does no, I thought the spraying, right? No, no, they hired them. They, they hired them. Yeah. That them. was kind of a crappy mess on the north side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Wish they'd make some kind of deal that where they could <laughs> almost. Like the a rake that they could hook onto and pull that out of there somehow, yeah. you know, when you're when you're picking we're cutting, it up. Because yeah. the paddle wheel would bust a lot of that stuff that's close to the top of the paddle wheels, but right. then all that floats to shore and makes a mess. Right. But if the herbicide is applied correctly, as okay. it must be in some areas, I mean, I don't know if it's the wind draft or what it is when they're spraying. It could have been. Is that part where it's usually windier and all get out on the east side? It is, yeah. And it may have been windy that day, but I know it didn't work. When I mentioned Don, it didn't work as good. He said, oh, it worked really good by his place. Yeah. But you guys and he's out. on the north side, too. Yeah. yeah. But he's kind of... In the coat, yeah, around yeah, the edge. Around he was protected. He got out real close. All right. 
And when we cut grass with the harvester and we got close, you could tell it was worse. I guess so my point is, is like, we give them this money, right? Is that how we do this? We give it to the DNR? No, no. Well, yeah, then or we give it to the it. company. You know, practically speaking, uh, they give money to us. All of the bills funnel through the city. Yeah. Okay. So. But at least we can make them aware that we had some complaints from sure. certain areas. Yeah. I already told him it didn't work that way. Did you? Good yeah. job. Go. You go, guy. Um, um, best we could. <laughs> new ropes and buoys. Those other ones are about 10 years old now and, and really starting to fray as far as the ropes go. About $1,000 there. Uh, the two more additional kiosks for the historic assets, and that's been, we got about half that money from uh, Sac County Endowment Grants. A stove and an air conditioner for the for the shelter house. Uh, I would tell you that we have a, a, a opportunity. We can just buy a stove right now for the north side. And glad had a good one for three hundred some dollars. So we may just go ahead and do that. That'd be a good deal. Yeah. You get, get there. They'd like to have the stove working. You don't have two, does it? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> General Capital Fund, where again, we're funding our ourself. This is coming from what's described as police. Uh, we're setting money aside so that every second year we, we have money uh, available to purchase a new truck. Speed trailer, uh, $8,000 for that, but uh, around half or, or a little more is, is proposed to be funded by the STEP grant. Radio for the uh, Patrol vehicle about four thousand dollars, and then he said the vest. How many vests is that, Chief? Couple? I think you get up to should be three of them. We have a fifty percent uh, matching grant through the Department of Justice. Very good. All right, uh, sanitary sewer. Of course, our big project next year. For four million dollars on that SRS. Um, mm -hmm. yep. And as we budget, and you, you look at that and go, we have a four point six five million dollar project. This says four million. It it will certainly cross two fiscal years. So we'll expend some money this year and some amount of money next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Public Works Capital Fund sure, sure again setting money aside for for uh, equipment purchases. Left station upgrade, oh, we want to uh, continue to set that money aside or budget that every year so we can upgrade left stations. It's proposed we would update that Camp Crescent left station next year. We had historically always budgeted $25,000 for that, and when we would propose to up, up that amount so that uh, it's $35,000, especially with that one. That's a bigger, a bigger lift station down there. And then uh, we're paying ourselves back for this loan that, that we made to ourselves to, to buy that sewer jetter and this would be year five of that. It's the final year paying ourselves back on the uh, to purchase that sewer jetter. Streets, uh, that M54 East Shore Drive intersection has already been done but we would pay our share to the county during the next budget year which was $17,000. Um, proposal to uh, start doing some seal coating. And this just says uh, $25,000. Um, based on what Wall Lake has spent, it's about two bucks a square yard. And that would do somewhere around 10 blocks or a little more. Mm. Dump truck set aside fund that we would would put money aside uh, to purchase either a, a new or a really good used dump truck. Um, in either year two or three, and this would propose to put $60,000 away for that. <coughs> um, to build a public works or electric shop at $200,000, we have $120,000 set aside right now, and by this time, the end, the end of next budget year, then we would have enough money available to actually do the project. So this would propose we would budget to do the project. Um, it's a question of whether we would want to do it this summer or not, and no bills, they're not too keen on doing that. We've got enough stuff going on, so we would push it off until summer of 19. But 
we would have the money available to do that. Broom for the skid loader. This would propose to uh, purchase a new broom, $5,500 from the Public Works Capital Fund, uh, to repair a couple of intakes. And these are both down at First and Vine, and that's just $1,100 there. Water to uh, re uh, specifically replace uh, four valves that are up there on 5th and 7th and 9th and Jackson. These are right around where we did that new street project last year. They're not in the new pavement, but they're, they're close. Uh, these would, would be proposed to uh, be replaced. Rebuild or replace five fire, fire hydrants. Focusing on the rebuild part, hopefully first. There's $5,000 for that. Are these are these in pretty bad shape, or they're not working at all, or are they just? I defer to Bill on that. So you talking about fire hydrants? Yeah. There's a three of them that are leaking, where you came and shut them off, and one's cracked. That's got to be totally redone. Basically, try to get the ones repaired if you can yeah. first. So that would be probably a priority one? Yep. Okay. And then there's one out, one out of Provost Crew, that one doesn't work. And that's why that one's cracked. I just, you know, hook on the inspected water and you had a fire, that's yeah. not a good thing. So I'd say that'd be on top of the list. That, can they open them up if yeah. they had to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The bad times, wintertime, when you shut them off, they just, well, yeah. they freeze up. Oh, okay. But these water valves on 5th, 7th, 9th, and Jackson, it's not in the new pavement, it's just No, that's in the old blacktop. Okay. We got, we were just too busy last summer to even attempt doing that. Mm -hmm. Just the last few things here. Also talk about water valve replacement program. We have talked and wanted to do routine water valve replacement for years. And we've done some, but just not, we haven't been real consistent about it, so this would yeah, keep trying to institute uh, water valve replacement because we know that some of the valves out there don't necessarily work, or they don't certainly don't close all the way. And when we and when we got to do some repair work, then we're shutting off huge amounts of town in order to make it happen. Like Main Street's so. pretty well been done, right? Main Street's okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's been when they put the new street in, they did that. Yes. Yes. Yep. yep. Water tower uh, internal loan. That's another one of those that we we borrowed ourselves some money when we when we repainted the uh, water tower. That's the last payment on that. And uh, public work capital fund again setting money aside. And the the valve replacement. I think we got that listed twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Save ten thousand dollars for the table. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you learn quick, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Any comments on those things? So, yes. Otherwise, as we start to work on. How long does a water valve run? What is the life of one of them? Geez, you know that's a that's a good question. Whether I say if I tell you forty or fifty years, you know. Yeah. But, but you got to but know. you got to exercise them. You can't just leave them set there. Yeah, shut them on and off every year. Yeah, the the mm -hmm. Which we do. Have you, have you seen the guy with his just his pickup truck? It's got a hydraulic uh, system where he opens and closes valves for us. Oh. And he's in town usually for uh, one day a year. I've never and, seen him. Yeah. Tell you true. But then I don't know. Maybe I ain't home all I saw all him. Day. I wouldn't know what he was doing. So. Yeah, he wouldn't. Get this is a very nondescript thing. You can't even hardly tell what's going on. But yeah, that's what that's what he's doing. You know, he's he's opening and closing these valves. He counts the total rotations, mm -hmm. and and uh, then you write mm -hmm. those down. You're able to when you're closing them, then and you, you count the proper amount of turns that ought to be closed. Nothing. I say I, I talked with him right before Christmas, and he, he was just very upfront about the fact that he had some other stuff that we got pushed back. Oh, well, we don't push it back. I, I would just hate to see TIF money used for the campground, personally. Especially when we have quite a bit of our general funds. Mm -hmm. Especially with the campground bringing in a considerable amount of funds. I just think that TIF money might be needed somewhere else. 
the faster we get the campground done, the better. That's right. And the, I the agree. The campground in. is huge. Yeah. Bill don't like to hear that. But. <laughs> I was down there the day when the sewer was flooded. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But I mean, that's a big oh, revenue. A yep. Camper bring a lot of money to town. Mm -hmm. That's good to be the place to camp. Yeah. Yep. Well, the building, if they keep working on the lake, that's yep, going to be a big thing. Yeah, keep working on the lake. Are we done with our review? Well, just that the you know there's year two, three, and four, and I want you to take a look at those, but uh, that would just be for for future planning purposes. Give some idea about what the what the expected projects would be then uh, coming up in, in future years. And really, I tell you what, we're going to budget this stuff this year. It's going to just be a huge year. We got lots of stuff going on. And. Uh, sewer lagoon and uh, rural electric line we go throw in that underground electric project and that makes for a pretty full year we cleaned sewers two months last year and still didn't get what done what I wanted to get done so we need to spend more more time on cleaning sewers too just got to find the right high school kids but, you know, I, I would tell you, I don't know that the city's had any blockages since we We haven't had any. Yeah. So it's, uh, it pays off. You've been focusing on the trouble spots that we normally have, right? We, we did the whole town. Okay. Then we're going, we go back and do the trouble spots. We've done them two or three times already. But, yeah, we've never had a one. How once. long has it been before, when that been done before, for the whole town? Oh. Uh, I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> but it keeps Pete Howe out of town. Yeah, we use a contract for We've it. We've done everything ourselves. We want to get it done in yeah. four years. Yeah, that's the, that's the big truck now. That machine does a beautiful job. That's paid for itself. Oh, yeah. It's, oh. Uh, good thing we didn't split with Wall Lake. Yeah. We were going to buy it 50 50. Yeah, they talked, somebody told me about that the other day. Well, I mean, I was on the council when we yeah. did that, yeah. but uh, they was wishing they had. We're glad they didn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad yeah, too because yeah, otherwise yeah. it might have been shot and now we're dead, you know, wrecked yeah. or whatever. So. You never know when you share. Well, I, you know, out on the farm, I was my policy not to loan stuff out. <laughs> that's, that's my policy too, Jerry. Yeah. You don't borrow stuff out. I don't do that now either, even to my. Mm, you don't come back? I shouldn't say that. that. Even my son will also. It's back for old. <laughs> <laughs> Still watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, even it's, a, you know, it's a, just a deal. We we cleaned out four storm sewers too. That had never been done. That were plug solid. Yeah. That machine's got a lot of power. Yeah. And when did you buy that last year? Oh no, well, five. This be the old. fifth year payout. Yeah. Yeah. Is it about five years? Yeah, this be the fifth year pay off. Yeah. We don't have a camera with that, do we? No. We got everything else with the camera. No. Would that be something we need? Do you care what it looks like? I or? wouldn't. I wouldn't do it this year. I mean, just, we got to have the manpower to go do it. You know, and yep. I wouldn't do it. Okay. How about a city administrator report? Mm. Yeah. Good news report. Yeah, not much. Uh, <laughs> I just a question for you about. Holding a city council planning session, can we can we have a can we schedule a date for when we would be able to do that? Now, um, next Monday is union negotiation time. We'll exchange proposals and keep bargaining that night. We'll start at six o'clock next Monday. At, at six. <clears throat> um, what does next either next Tuesday or Wednesday look like as far as any? Chance about getting together for a council goal setting session. The sooner the better. Go away. Wednesday. Will it work? Well, Wednesday the tenth work okay for folks. And the sixth is on a. Let's see. Oh. What now day? what's that? Sixth. That's a Saturday. That's a Saturday. Yeah, you know, what? Oh, yeah. what? Oh, you're going to do that. Monday the 8th is Union. Monday the 8th is Union. Okay. 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 Union.
tenth planning. Can we can we do a planning session then on Wednesday the tenth? I can. Seven o'clock here. <coughs> And then just as we look at our schedule then for the for the month, we would have planning session then on the 10th, regular city council meeting again on the 15th. And then I would propose that we would have one more special council meeting for budget review. And I'd like to look at the 22nd on that. We'd just have the budget basically all done by that time and, and go through a budget review with you and really have a lot of the... A lot of the work basically done by then, you'll be able to leave then. When have you had anything figured out about when you're taking off? Okay. You said 22nd, would that ever? Yeah, let's do a budget review. Goal. Uh, we have be at the budget meeting on the 22nd. Fifteenth of the year, normal. Right. Um, just uh, just a couple things. Lakeview hosts Sac County League, and it's next Thursday, so it's Thursday the eleventh, and we'll post that out at Thirsty Cart. And then we'll get the back room out of Thirsty Cart. That's next Thursday. Next yeah. Thursday is the eleventh. That starts at what six? Seven. Social time at six thirty. Dinner at seven. And then, pardon me? Not really. That was better than something. Time to waste. Maybe there's a party. I'm not giving them a shot. So it's at what, 6 p.m.? 6 30, social time, and dinner's at 7. What do you usually do? For a, for a program? Sometimes a speaker or something. A little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe just thinking about our splash pad salesman, if you would come discuss our program and our, our project and how those things work. See if anybody has any interest in splash pads. Are you selling them or what? What's that? Are you selling them or what? No. <laughs> just well, just trying to fill, fill time up. <laughs> We're just working on a commission, though, just in case. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you uh -huh. go. Uh, One free if we sell ten. No. <laughs> <laughs> Northwest Iowa League is the following Thursday. Then it's January 18th. We got together last month for to do our Christmas auction that, that funds the scholarship that they have in the area, and a really bad turnout. The weather was was not too good, so they they did not do the auction. So. We'll do the auction up there on January 18th. Oh, where's that at? Spencer, up at the Clay County Event Center. Nice venue. That's a 5 p.m. start up there? That's 5 p.m. Yeah. And they did not elect a new new officers yet, so John's still the president for one more month. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> That's a lot of change. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's taking over. Okay, we're going to go into closed session for the. You mean you have a motion to go into closed session? Second? Second. It has. You and Neil and litigation. Is that all right? Sure. Are you going to talk about Roll callers. Did we get a second? second? Second. Yeah. Yes. Tom. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Laura. Yes. Thanks, Bill. Voice. Did you want me for that that tr underground guy? Yeah, we should. Yes. Yeah. Do you want me for the other one? Yeah, just as well. <laughs> we got to turn all the cameras off first. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a star out of you yet, you know that? Uh, but, um.